Alright guys, it's V-Sing here with my week 11 or round 11 battle against uh, Wyatt, coach of the Azalea Agrons. Uh, Wyatt aka Mega Chewbacca 13. This is round 11 for the CCL, the Combined Championship League, the Draft League uh, thing, yeah. The, um, I myself created and am running and um, a few things I want to go over before I get into the battle here um, in case you missed the team builder because I know not a lot of people watch the team builder, they just watch the battle. So um, I went over some stuff in the team builder which I'll go over again uh, if you missed it. Um, firstly, I know I've not been uploading. There's a few good reasons for that. I'll just rattle them off quickly because I did go over them like I said in the team builder. Go watch that if you haven't. Um, firstly, I've been sick, I've had the flu, and yeah, I can't record when I can barely talk. Uh, secondly, um, I've been dealing with a lot of personal issues like stress and depression and medical conditions and all this stuff, and it's just like, it, it, it's not put me in the mood to record. Basically, I can only, well, I wouldn't say I can only record, I feel more comfortable recording if someone's there with me, which is why... My soul link with Ace over on his channel hasn't gone away. I feel 100% comfortable recording with him. So go check that soul link out. It's actually being uploaded more than twice a week now because his current LP is finished. So yeah, um, and the third reason is I've just been demotivated recently to do YouTube because with Sun and Moon coming out, everyone's focus is on that. Um, I, I would love to be able to bring you guys like the demo and like a Pokemon Moon LP because I'll be playing Moon first but uh, unfortunately I can't because I don't have a capture card, I can't afford one so not being able to bring you guys that stuff has really demotivated me but depending on how this goes and your guys' support and the likes and comments if you guys really want me to come back I will, I'll bring back Adventures Red and um, Lucius as well and maybe some showdown and quizzes with Ace, all that kind of stuff. If you really, really want me to bring back my regular uploads, then please leave a like on this video, comment down below. Um, I know a couple of guys commented on my team builder. I I remember all of you guys, like um, Antonio Nerio and Seven Dutch Apples. Like, thank you guys for your comments. It meant a lot to me. Like, happy to see you back and stuff like that. So yeah, leave comments. It'll motiva motivate me again to upload. But yeah. I'm here with my round 11 battle with Wyatt, who's got an age draft. Um, if you want to know his full draft, just go watch the team builder, like I keep mentioning. Um, but yeah, if you're hyped for this battle, leave a like and all that stuff. Smash that like button. But as you can see, he brought um, Ante, Scrafty, Jellison, Mega Agron. It could be Mega, could be regular. Clefable and Gudra. I brought a Focus Sash counter Sneasel. Uh, Sheer Force, Life Orb, Needle Queen, um, Specially Defensive Registeel, um, Offensive, well, Bulky Offensive Rhydon with Eevee Light, um, Physically Defensive Manaphy, and a Choice Scarf Trick Latios. Looking at his team, I expect the following things. I expect Scarfed Ente to deal with my potential Mega Scissor. Scissor? Scissor? Um, Scrafty, probably Bulk Up. Uh, Jellicent, Specially Defensive to deal with Manaphy. Agron's just an Agron, potentially the curse set. Um, Clefable, I don't know what type of Clefable he might be. I'm expecting physically defensive and Assault Vest Gudra. Um, as far as leads go, I was predicting probably the Agron to get up rocks because I know it's something he likes to do. So as far as my lead, um, I decided to go with the Sneasel because I do have the Sash and if he leads with the Agron, if he hits me with a Heavy Slam, I can just um, protect. Or sorry, not protect. I'll live on my sash and I'll click counter. So that was my plan going in. Um, I was scared of the Ente and I was scared of the Jellicent. Um, I feel like I underprepared for the Jellicent. But let's get into the battle and see how things go. Why is issuing a challenge? Yeah, make sure you go follow Wyatt on Twitter. Um, at Megatrubaka13 is a good guy. But he leads with Band, which is his Gudra. And I do lead with my Sneasel. And I am in a somewhat decent position here. Um, I'm going to pause um, because obviously Gudra doesn't want to take an Icicle Crash, but my thought process here was, obviously I, I think he led with the Gudra because he expected my Manaphy, expecting his Agron, so it's a bunch of mind games, but yeah. I decided to swap out because I knew I couldn't one-shot this with Icicle Crash and if he like Dragon Pulses me or even Dracos, I'm down to my Sash and I don't want that at this point in the game. So I decided he's either going to swap into his Clefable 
or he's going to fire off a move. Now, considering both those things, I decided to double swap immediately into my Registeel. It's my best option, whether he attacks or if he goes in, into his fat cunt here, <laughs> his Clefable, which he does do. Actually, no, I knocked off because it was a free knockoff. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. I think here is, um, I got rid of his leftovers, which is good. Here's where I swap into Registeel because this thing can't really do much to me. I could have went into the Needle Queen, but I was fearing, honestly, I was fearing like a psychic, but yeah, he gets his rocks up, which sucks for me because I don't have hazard removal and my Sneasel's sash is now broken. So basically the counter thing will not work. Here I predicted the Agron because he knew I would Toxic or throw a Toxic off, so like I said in my team builder, I click Earthquake. <laughs> and, uh, his Agron's now going to take this quad effective Earthquake and it does just under half, which reveals to me he is um, max HP. I don't think he's physically defensive, I think he's specially defensive. But he does um, Mega here, and I um, I am pecking counter on this uh, Registeel. So I just click counter, and he actually cursed. And at this point, I'm like, oh shit, I could actually get swept right here and now. <sighs> I'm low-key shitting myself. <laughs> but I'm no he I know he's cursing, so I just decided to fire off Earthquakes, because I want him to rest. Um, I want him to rest and be asleep so I can get try and get a free swap. I know it's RNG with Sleep Talk. But I want him to rest so I can get a free swap into something like my Needle Queen or anything that can deal with this, like maybe Manaphy. But um, yeah, I swap out because I know the Earthquakes aren't going to do anything and he's free to just like chill. So I bring in the Rhydon and the reason I bring in the Rhydon, um, I take a little bit of self rocks, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, he does rest because he's below he uh, half health now and I, I think Needle Queen does take it out from that range so I, I think he had to rest. Um, but the reason I bring in uh, Rhydon here is because at the very last minute I decided to put on Dragon Tail to phase this thing out. Um, I, I was hoping that Wyatt didn't predict that and go into his Clefable, which would have been kind of fun. But yeah, he did get the RNG Rest roll, which is fine. And I do Dragon Tail this out, which is fine. Get the fuck up out, Agron. Your plus two defenses is gone. Fuck that bullshit. And the Jellison comes in, and I'm like, great. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Um, I don't really have great swap-ins to this, so I was just like, fuck it, Registeel. Um, I can't remember what I did. I think he Giga Drains here. Um, yeah, he Giga Drains, revealing the Giga Drain to me, so I know that Manaphy can't swap into this freely, which kind of sucks. Um, I think here I try and... I don't have Stealth Rocks, I don't believe. Um, I think here I just try in Toxic, because like I mentioned in the team preview, that thing is a huge issue to me. So I think I do go for the Toxic, and he brings in his Agron, which sucks, but nah, it was an obvious play, and I should have seen it coming, but I attacked what was in front of me, which I have been told I need to do more, because over-predicting is my biggest downfall, I'd say. So I, I, I risk the RNG on the Sleep Talk, I bring in the Needle Queen. <laughs> um, yeah, I bring in the Needle Queen, sorry, risking the RNG. And he does get um, the Heavy Slam, I believe, this turn. Yeah, he does. And it does a shit ton, even without like a plus one curse. Like, look at that damage. That is actually insane. So here I was like, okay, he's nothing off the ground, no flying type, no levitator, so I can throw off a free Earth Power. And I do that, and as you see here, I'm going to pause it in a sec. Because I got hella mad. It does nothing to the Gudra. And look at that. You saw the life, the health go down. The HP went down. I made a mistake. I'm not going to blame my Jenner. It wasn't my Jenner's fault because I went back and checked. And I accidentally sent him the Needle Queen set. But I didn't make it Sheer Force. So I am rocking a Poison Point Needle Queen. Isn't that lovely? And... Before you guys say in the comments, it doesn't matter, it does because the Earth Power would have done a lot more and the next Ice Punch, because I would have outsped, um, would have taken the Gudra out and my Needle Queen would still be around. But at this point, like after realizing this, I kind of, I got mad, I got salty, I raged, I got, uh, I got so upset and I was DMing Wyatt, the person I was battling, I was like, look, the Needle Queen's wrong and I was contemplating maybe like, saying to him start over but I just I, I was like so mad and I was still sick at the time battling and I was just like you know what fuck it let's keep going I got mad and during all that the time elapsed and it picked my move for me and I I sadly got a sludge wave not the ice punch and because of that I basically sacked off my needle queen 
So yeah, that that happened. So my biggest answer to the Mega Agron is now dead. I do get the poison point, and he has a Lumberry, which is fucking great. Um, I was so mad and so upset, but hey ho. Shit happens. So I bring in the Sneasel to scare it out with an Ice Go Crash. Obviously my Sash is broken. Um, at this point, I think I was predicting the uh, Clefable or Agron to come in again. I think that's what happened. Well, I, that's what I was predicting, so I went into Manaphy. Um, but he sends out Gay, <laughs> which is a Scrafty named after me. It's an Intimidate Scrafty, so I don't have to worry about Moxie. Or shed skin so I can like toxic this thing. Um, so I was like, okay, um, what's he gonna do to the Manaphy? And I think he realizes this, so he swaps out and brings in Pinsplit, the Jellicent, the bane of my life. So I rain danced here because I want to have the rain up for Entei coming in at any point, and also just in case I get toxic or thunder waves, especially by this thing, because this thing is just so fat. But if you know my set, I have Scald and U turn as my only offensive moves. And yeah, so I can't touch this thing. But also at this point, I realized he has hella speed investments on this Jellicent. He actually outsped my Manaphy, so that was good knowledge to know. And all I could do was U-turn out. It was literally nothing else I could do at that point. So, um, Jellicent was a huge problem to me. So I bring in the Sneasel because I want to I wanna hit it with a knockoff. Um, and he knows that. Um, and I think I do go for the knockoff, even though... Yeah, he sacks off his Gudra here to the knockoff, which is fine. Uh, he has no Lumberry, so the knockoff actually will do less, and he survives it because of that. But I, he's, he's just sacking it, so I just knock off again, which is which is great for me, isn't it? Lovely. <sighs> but he brings in his Scrafty, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get Drain Punched. I have to swap into something, or I have to sack this thing off. So I was like, you know what? I don't really have that great a swap into this. Sneasel does nothing anymore in this battle. So, yeah, I was just sacking it and I was like, maybe I'll get some Ice Cool cra Crash flinches. But he reveals Amnesia, which is interesting. I guess, again, it's to deal with Manaphy, because I know he was really, really scared of Manaphy. I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. Buy a knockoff, get rid of its um, leftovers, I think, ahead. Um, I believe. Yeah. Um, I just knock off the leftovers, and he's just gonna amnesia up. I, I don't really know why. I like I have physical attackers in the back that can deal with this, so I don't know what he was doing at this point. So I was just like, I'm sacking the sneasel. I will spam ice school crash and whittle the scrafty down as much as it pains me. My beloved scrafty, I don't want to kill it. But yeah, he finally decides. You know what? He's just staying in, and going for the flinches. I'll just kill it and get out of the way. Um, he gets a decent amount of HP back on the drain punch, so fair play. Um, at this point, I know I have to bring in, like, um, something to get rid of this. So I bring in my Registeel, and I was like, you know what, he's just gonna... I don't think he can set up anymore, there's no point. He's gonna Drain Punch me, it won't do that much. Um, because I am bulky, and I will just counter the shit out of this Crafty. And, yeah, that's kind of what happens here. So, pop. Oh, uh, yeah, bye, Crafty. <laughs> I did reveal Counter earlier, so I'm kind of questioning that play a little bit from Wyatt. I don't know if he was feeling sympathy for me because of the fucking Needle Queen. Um, I don't know. Um, at this point in the battle, I got determined again. Like, I did lose and kind of, like, say it's... I even messaged him, like, after the Needle Queen died, saying GG. And I kind of gave up a little bit. But at this point, I was like, you know what? I, I, I'm That's not me. I'll try. Um, I don't expect to win, but I'll do what I can. So he just starts cursing up again with his Aggron. Which is fine, as long as I have Manaphy to deal with it, that's not... Like, the Agron is honestly not an issue. As long as I have Manaphy. Um, same with the Entei. The biggest issue for me to get around right now is the stupid Jellicent. If his Jellicent didn't have speed, I would honestly be in a so much better position. And yeah, the Jellicent comes in. It's obvious play. I just go for Scald, and I do know now that he is Water Absorb, which is fine. Like... Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> I was so mad in the Needle Queen, man. I had coverage for the whole team, and this fucking jealous is just gonna sit here. I can't do anything to it. So I just decided to bring in the Latios. Like, the Jellison's only revealed Giga Drain so far. Um, I know it's a risky play because he might Shadow Ball, but, like, that's fine. Um, I am Scarfed, so, like, Draco will do a lot to this thing, and I think he knows that. 
and he can't risk it. So I do click the trick, expecting yep, the fat cunt to come back. The coffee able, so I do trick it, uh, which is great. You can't like soft boiled stall me or whatever he wants to do, anything like that. Uh, but I do know the moon blast is incoming, so I go right back into my registeel, which is great. Um, but yet again, um, registeel just being here is like fodder. Not fodder, it's like obvious, like, I don't know what word I'm looking for. It's a free swap in for him to his Agron or even his Entei. He can bring in either one on his registeel, especially like at the, the low amount of HP it's at. <sighs> Man, and he d he goes into re. I don't know. I don't know the nickname, man. Ask him. Like tweet him. Like why is it called re? But yeah, the Entei comes in, and I'm like, well, GG. Um, at this point, I didn't really want to risk anything swapping in on the Sacred Fire, so I just um. I knew it was coming in, but I just stayed in with the Reg Steel. I sacked it off, and I was like, yeah, I want I want a free swap on this Entei. Like that's fine. I don't mind. Registeel can go down. I know it deals with the Clefable, but hey ho, there's only so much I can swap in, especially with the range the Manaphy is at, because I believe two choice banded Sacred Fires does take it out from that range with the rocks damage as well. But yeah, um, anytime the Manaphy comes out, Wyatt has now realized that I can't touch the stupid Jellison. Yet again, the Jellison is the bane of my existence. And with my Needle Queen gone and things like that, it's very, very tough for me to deal with this thing. And there's only so much I can do. I think here I try and gauge how much the Giga Drain will do to me, which I do do. Um, it does about a third. So at that range, I think I can live two. But I decide to rest up, get my full HP, so I have um, more swap ins to the Entei, which is great. I need those. <laughs> I want you guys to know, like, I was so, like, disheartened by that Needle Queen. Like, I got so upset. I was ranting and raving to Ace, my friend. I was like, man, why did I do that? So I bring in the Latios. Um, I think he just... Oh, he does Shadow Ball this time. Yeah, smart play by Wyatt. He saw my swap in last time to this was the Latios. So, yeah. Um, I think at this point, he's like, okay, he's not Scarfed anymore. He has no item. So, he just brings in the Club Fable. And I believe I said... Oh, no, I Draco'd. I was like, the Jellison's such a problem that I have to, like, click Draco. I outspeed this. Um, even if it is Scarfed, I still outspeed it. So, I was like, I want some damage on it. It's Scarfed. It's, like, half health. So, I will just side shock it for damage. And I am just sacking off Mons at this point because, I like, his draft is so good. It's so diverse. Very few drafts will have the ability to swap in freely onto his mons like this. But here I bring in my Rhydon and I was like, I can just click Earthquake. Everything he has is grounded. It will hit something really hard. I am max attack adamant and it will hit shit hard. Um, he brings in the Zagron, which is his fattest mon. So I go for the Earthquake, which is great. And I, I'm really interested to see how much this does, which it does about a third. Yeah, it does about a third. So it's a solid three hit KO. Um, so I just click it again. Heavy Slam will not kill me from this range. I think here, yeah, he just goes for the Heavy Slam instead of cursing up because he knows he can't curse up, judging by the damage I'm doing. It does about half to me, which is fine. But I get to click Earthquake again, and at least I take down the Mega Aggron. Small victory for me. <laughs> um, you guys can tell I wasn't happy with how this battle went. Um, but yeah, um, all he has to do now is bring in the Jellicent, which he does, and, like, that's kind of game. Spoilers GG, I lost basically because I asked for the wrong Needle Queen, I got frustrated and I threw the battle because of that. And also, I, I also underprepared for a speedy Jellicent, that I will admit to that, even if I did make the right Needle Queen. Um, I did I did actually forfeit there because I couldn't touch it with the Manaphy, Manaphy's all I had left, but yeah, if I prepared better for the Jellicent, maybe I could have done better. But I am sorry for the... It's kind of an humiliating loss. I was dreading recording this. Even watching this, I got so mad. <laughs> I hated that battle. But GG's to Y. He played well. He built a great team. Uh, go say GG on Twitter for me. He doesn't have a channel, but go follow him on Twitter. It's at MegaChewbacca13. So congrats to the Azalea Agrons. We are now 7-4. and four. Not the best record, but hey -ho, we're still in contentions for playoffs. So here's hoping our opponent next week is your boy Grids. Our very good friend, goodbye, Grits. Um, who's, gonna, who's got a Mega Gardevoir, so I'm terrified. That thing is scary. But yeah, um, I'll be back next week with a team builder and hopefully our battle as well. 
wish me luck. If you guys enjoyed me fucking up with a Needle Queen, smash that like button. Check out all the links down below and I will see you guys again soon. Bye bye.